to Maypole Farm and a little bit of footage from DS Agri really hammering out the harvesting contracts over most of July basically god they put some hours on that combine so uh, yeah it was a lot of fun I uh, was able to get on over the weekend and join in with some of this monster amount of harvesting I think it was something like the 30 plus harvesting contracts that the guys took on um, and a lot of the straw from those was bailed as well so yes yeah, pretty insane amounts of work done and you know between us we managed to grab some quite nice footage as well of everyone working together cool thing about this is um, a couple of videos still to go in July I'm actually a little bit ahead on recording these and then we'll be in to August and in to access to all of the kit from the 1990s and that five years actually opens up some really nice extra kit so it's gonna be a pretty big refresh coming for certainly for DS Angry um did the same last video i'm praying to get myself something nice for uh to, to work in um the other thing that's going to change is i spoke about that in the last video access to um gps for precision farming and um auto steer so that's going to make the guys really happy as well and me to be honest and also um combi balers became a thing in the 90s so we can get rid of the the separate round baler wrappers that and wrapper that we've got and we'll be able to have a baler wrapper which is going to be really nice gonna really speed things up um, so this is me in the fence doing a bit of carting um, and we've got monarchs eagle um i think cartek was on and mark h actually it almost filled the server because the server only got six slots on the server and we almost filled it which was kind of a nice shock for me um, so once this is done, we've got to go over and bale the straw from the harvesting that I did. Because uh, that's still sitting in the field, drying, I don't know, whatever. Whatever straw does when it's sat in the field. Um, basically, these guys had all the kit, so I couldn't actually bale the straw. Um, that was an issue. I had massively underestimated just how much equipment was needed if you're curious about the blurring on the screen um that's the the chat that was going on in game and rather than me having to worry about what was being said it's just going to be blurred out so so it's just easier it meant less stress for me i had to be less careful with editing i could just blur it out when it appeared I'm getting better at editing with all this stuff as well but yeah so one of the things that i'm going aware of as we approach upgrading the kit is we need a lot more stuff um in particular so we we'll um once we finish up with the multiplayer stuff um the ford that i leased for these guys which is running the baler at the moment a couple of things one it was struggling on the baler um probably not the ideal baler tractor i think the baler is as big as the tractor and also very quickly um it's got the 20 hours on it at least to own and i didn't think it was worth buying it so that is going to get returned um, and that meant that there weren't enough tractors so I, I ended up and you'll see it in the next video with just my little Zetor Zetor or Ursus I struggle to remember sometimes so um, a little bit of footage from Monarchs as well um, working in the Deutz this thing uh, is proven to be quite a popular bail loading tractor so I have yet to find out when other than the um, so Hes the, the Heston Super Chaser um, was around at this kind of time a um, couple of things it only holds 10 bales um, I think it was designed just to clear bales off the field and then load them onto a bigger trailer for transport um, the other thing is a Heston baler is way out of our budget at the moment in terms of the kit that we could afford to buy on the farm. So appreciate the suggestions of a Heston baler from a bunch of you, but not what we're going to go for on here. Um, everyone's getting really good at bale stacking and I am looking at some improvements to make that easier. Um, using these older tractors with uh, not necessarily manual gearboxes but not with vario or you know other um, cvt transmissions it does make it a little bit harder it's a little bit clunkier but, um yeah 
there are there are improvements coming so just finishing up this field we're currently in field 97 so uh but they they they, they covered the whole map um i think almost every field that had wheat oats barley or canola in was harvested and a big chunk of them were baled as well um we'll cover it more as well in the next no not so much in the next video i don't think i don't remember how much footage i've got in the next video most of the next video i think is just me working on the farm so because i had stuff to get done but the server was up all of the bank holiday weekend and it was used very heavily so it was very cool so just taking a load of canola up to be delivered. One of the things with running, so, so as harvest contracts came up, I was grabbing them so that they didn't vanish. So you guys had lots to do. That did mean that quite often we were delivering for different contracts to the fields we were harvesting. And it was only towards the end that everything started to line up and contracts were, were completing. Um, so you can see there, we've delivered for two different contracts. Um, it's just because the the game is, although the game lets you take three contracts at a time, it's not really designed for having 30 contracts active at once. And, you know, so it it, it works itself out. It, it was fine. It, it did look really close. Um, Kartek and I were working on finishing up all of the wheat harvest. I think it was, no, barley harvesting contracts. And uh, because we'd forgotten that a bunch of it had been delivered to the silo early on on the farm we were looking we, it was really looking like we wouldn't have enough to complete the contracts um the, the reason for that is the um a bunch of them were set to be delivered to the the grist mill that we have down at the farm i need to edit the xml to that to stop that happening um and obviously that's a tiny production and it just wasn't wasn't going to work so I, I manually edited the XML to change it to one of the other contract delivery points and I had to take server down for that so while the guys were working on them they were just taking the grain into the silo at DS Agri to store it um, and I'd forgotten and Kartek kind of remembered pop just as we were finishing up harvesting the last field going there's nowhere near enough grain on here um, and it all worked out fine so yeah it's uh, it does work out in the end it's just uh, it was a little bit stressful yeah, so someone forgot to turn the baler on. Yeah, this, this little Ford was was just about able to to run the baler. Um, some of the hills around this map are quite hilly. So some of the hills, some of the fields around this map are quite hilly. Hills are hilly. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Unless they're not hilly, and then are they hills? Even who knows? Um, yeah. I think it was it was good fun to to get on and get this done. Plans for the farm. I'm gonna run. I, I've, I've been bouncing around in my head over the weekend with this map. Um, I'm gonna run out the rest of of the next year. So we're we're back at our farm. Look at the. I asked them to deliver the baler to the farm. Look at the state that they delivered this in. Um, it would have been nice to give it a wash and yeah you can see it's, it's coming up on 20 hours so it's not got a lot more work left before we need to either hit the let's buy it or let's return it point um and the final payment is quite high it's thirty-two thousand pounds and i didn't feel that was worth worth the cost for, for for what it's being used for so the ford will be going at some point in this video but yeah i, I you could have given it a wash lads so what do we do when I, this this wasn't live on the server but what we do when we don't want people to use it we put it in one of my sheds because i can lock the door um got the fence down here as well um we need to do a couple of things and my mind is struggling to remember what they were uh, we need to sell some milk um and the fence nice flax it's quick I did also think we were going to need to sell some slurry and get some slurry cleared but actually we don't and again the um the fan is nice for that because it's faster than any of the other tractors that we have down here at the yard um i actually have quite a few tractors at the moment because this before i gave them all back um so you've got a decent amount of milk coming in now i think we're nearly eighteen thousand liters of milk so it's a nice bit of cash for us um Cash is going to look pretty good over the next video or two as the uh, the harvesting contracts are completed. 
it's really weird for me. Um, it's unusual that I've got this video and the next video recorded, so I'm happy to try and make sure that I don't talk about the future too much to avoid spoilers. Um, obviously, the, the guys that play in the launch player see all the spoilers, but not everyone does, and not everyone wants to see them, so yeah. First load of milk up at the dairy. Um, obviously, for this farm, this is the main income, although the money that DS Agri makes is kind of split between them because that's it just is. It just is. Um, one of the things I am going to do is all the tractors that we buy, I'm keeping. Because so, I think it'd be really cool to see that history of the, the tractors evolve. Um, with the amount of hours that are getting put on them, they're pretty much worthless by the time we're upgrading them. You know, they're worth like 10 grand or whatever. So, um, nearly seven grand for the milk. It's pretty nice. So, yeah, I'm going to keep them all. And as the the contract business grows, we'll maybe get a shed to keep them all in. And, you know, there were points like in the next video, I there wasn't enough kit with, um, with me working and all the guys doing harvesting contracts. There was not enough not enough tractors so keeping them all means that we should never be in that situation in the future it might be that you're using an older tractor which is less ideal but it'll do a job um, and most of these old tractors are pretty good actually so the um the gearbox in the fender is not popular um, i really like the way it picks up slowly as it gains momentum but not so much for some of the guys running it as a carting tractor particularly when they overload it with two trailers full of grain hey so yeah, nice bit of cash come in there. What I was just going to have a quick look at is the number of hours they've put on the kit. So you can see there's a decent amount of cash already. Um, and yeah, the the combine has now done at this point nine hours. I think when I when I, I handed it over, I'd done 0. 0.7. So yeah, they, they are putting the hours on stuff. So we've got the Deutz hooked up to the baler and we're going to get our straw baled but, uh, i'm not going to worry about putting it on a trailer to stack it you know it's the fields next to you it's one of the quite quite nice things about this farm apart from fields 11 and 12 everything's really close um 11 and 12 i have to loop around the top so i might actually i'm wondering I wonder whether we sell those fields off after harvest and pick up. There's a bigger field um, just up the hill with the pond. Maybe we pick that up and split it in two. I think it's field 17. I just saw the number jump in to the corner of the map. Um, it, it literally backs onto this field. and That might be a nice, a nice way of saving a bit of travel time, if anything. Previously spoken about expanding the yard into this field, but I think we're good actually for now. Anything I really want to get is a new slurry store, which I've got one picked out. Got the spot picked out. We just need the funds to pay for it. It might be that I sell some silage bales for that. Um, keeping up with slurry production is proving more challenging. Now we have so many cows. Um, once the calves are a bit older, I will move those over to the field where we have the other cows grazing, free up a bit of load. Don't know if the field will cope with grazing that many cows, but we will see. I can always take over some supplementary feed. I do need to look at selling some silage. Probably um, before we go on a spending spree. So I think we have about half a million litres of silage on in the yard, and we really don't need that much. Combined with the hay that we've got, we've got plenty of feed so yeah I, I just need a trailer to load it up on and because of all the harvest contracts and the baling that's been going on there's been a shortage of bale trailers in the area so yep something that i do need to address um we'll get there we'll get there actually just loading all the bales up is going to be a bit of a faff so i'm, I'm kind of not doing myself any favors by not allowing bale stackers and not allowing auto load it's part of what makes this harder um it's interesting actually i don't find this style of play particularly hard now um obviously all the prices we get for things are lower but 
in general. Um, it's kind of how I like to play. It's really nice sometimes to have auto load. And one of the things we were chatting about on Discord today was the the Ursus bail stackers that we had in FS19 for me, maybe in older versions as well. And it'd be really nice to see those back again. I don't remember if they were a Giants release or not. I don't think they were actually, but the one that would take six round bales was really nice and would be a really good addition to the game. Um, I don't remember if the swap tractors to the fence. The, uh, the boats were struggling to pull the bale up the hills, so we put the fence on, seeing as it was in the yard. It's a really nice looking combo, I think. Um, yeah, I don't remember if I said before this recording this commentary has been a bit fragmented that um i have yet to find out i do remember talking about it so i remember talking about the the um the heston bales i haven't found out yet when bale stackers were a thing that were common in farming apart from the heston super chaser so yeah i will keep exploring um chat gpt has been really useful for that. obviously i put some screenshots in before from um the gps stuff i know you chat gpt PT to find out about the combination baler wrappers so um it's really like that that's that's a really weird tool that um in that it responds differently depending on how you ask i've asked it before about combination baler wrappers and really struggled to get an answer out um because it seems to refer to some kind of i think american machine that does heading and windrowing and baling in one um i don't know so but I got it, I got there. Um, I gave it some examples, and because the examples were old enough that it knew what they were, it then worked it out. So yeah, that was kind of cool. Pretty much finished on the baling. It wasn't that long a job, to be honest, particularly once I stuck the fen on. Um, as I said, this thing takes a little while to get going, but once it got going, it, you know, it handled the baler just fine. I am wondering if um, we've got a bit more cash available. We could get a bit of a tune on the engine on this guy. Um, I don't remember if I got it in the highest power engine available, so um, that might be something we can do just to help out with some of the heavy work that it's doing. Although I suspect, well, I can say I suspect it might be retired soon. I suspect it will be retired soon from the contracting business. It'll probably come live on the farm with us because I really like it. So, uh, as I said, not planning to sell any of the tractors that we own through this process. I don't think I've sold any yet. No, I don't think I have. So. Probably to help with, and lag shouldn't be a problem. If we get problems with lag, with how many things we've got, probably what I'll do is I will uh, go store some of them somewhere else on the map. We'll, we'll rent a shed somewhere on the map to store them in. Actually, that's something I want to talk about. So um, a while ago, when we bought the contracting yard, it came with a house. And I asked you guys what to do with the house. We spoke about solding it, about renting it out, that kind of thing. I've done nothing, and here's why. So just sending the baler and the doits off for the guys doing the contracting work they need some more kit so doing that um i pay at the moment five grand a month for per worker for two workers so we pay 10 grand a month in worker wages to cover all of the things that we need to do um you, you know we will have seen earlier in the video we had four people working on the server so i'm in theory i'm not paying enough wages what i'm thinking is that the, the over predominant suggestion was to rent the house out for an income rather than adding something in to give us an income and then adding more stuff in to take money out i'm just leaving it at what it is what we're paying for workers um because that seems to work one thing i do need to do is switch that bill over to ds agri because i'm paying the workers wages and not getting well i am getting the benefit because i'm taking cash from them. i just want to do that because it'll be easier for me to see um the income that I'm making, so yeah. It'd be really nice if I didn't have to keep taking money out of DS Agri to get what we need. I'm torn on something that I want to do. I want to get a nice tractor on here in August. I have said no loan on here, um, and we're using lease to own instead. Because I want to get a tractor that I can customize, I'm pondering using the new loan mod to take out a loan for probably two years um, for the amount of that tractor. So curious what you guys think of that. Um, it's a bit of a change, but otherwise I'll just use lease to own. And that, if I use lease to own, I'm still gonna wanna do things, but main thing is swapping wheels. And I'll just do that in the XML. I'll, I'll pay 
however much it would be for the set of wheels and I'll do it in the XML so it doesn't really make a bit of much difference it's just a, a, a flow of gameplay if I need to change the wheels in the month you know while I'm recording then it would or if while the server's up it would be a faff so I'm curious what you guys think of that um, a lot of the kit that the contracting side is going to get I think is going to be on lease to own as well so again it would be an option there the, the issue with that one is so that that loan mod uses the amount of capital you have based on land and cash and equipment they don't have any land really they are quite cash rich so that would work you know we could borrow up to the amount of cash that they have so I'm curious which whether you guys think we should add in that loan mod um, in in place of using a lease to own we would have to take out loans for vehicles I think I'm just kind of thinking about this out loud as we go through so yeah curious as to what you guys think on that one as to whether we should use the loan mod as a way of getting the cash to procure kit or stick with using lease to own um, the the contracting side some of those will be able to be brought out right but with the amount of kit we need not all of them will be so i said it's definitely something that i'm learning as to how much equipment a contracting business needs and how many hours they put on everything jeez guys it's a very different experience for me um the the rate the hours are racking up on the kit now the cool thing is from the farm cop video but what doesn't matter how many hours they got the kit still you know behaves the same so that's really nice um one thing i am pondering with the, the zetor the tractor that i keep forgetting the brand of is an engine swap um so obviously I've spoken about you know these old tractors are quite clunky and as we progress through we get access to more modern stuff but i really like this old tractor this is i think this is becoming the old case that i had in fs19 um and so i'm pondering a bit of a for the uk reference a bit of a triggers broom approach in that every few years we might just upgrade the engine and the transmission so i wouldn't go nuts on the horsepower I'd probably keep it a similar horsepower but you know things might just be a bit nicer to use rather than yeah i could just go and buy a new attractor but i really like the look of this whole thing um, and i can imagine farmers would do that if they had a favorite tractor they'd probably you know do an engine swap on it drop new gearbox in that kind of thing tell me if i'm being crazy but I, I kind of figured that they might do that kind of thing. Um, you know, find a more modern, small engine to put in. Nicer transmission. I can see way off in the future. Um, so one of the things that I did, and I have available through Discord, are some vehicles where I've done... I'm using one of them on Greenlands. I'm using the T6, which has got the methane fuel swap. I've got another one. I've got a case, which has got an electric motor swap. I could see in the future just doing that on this. You know, when we get into... The period where we're in playing in you know, like 2020 something like now maybe this has had an electric motor swap um, so we take the motor out of the the riggy track the little riggy track tractor that's base game that's electric maybe we take the motor and battery unit out of that and put that in here way off in the future i think that'd be really cool i really love that little riggy track if it had a front loader it'd be awesome um I said it about the Antonio Carrero pack as well. Those little utility tractors, if they had front loaders, they'd be really cool. Imagine that mini quad track with a front loader. But because it's DLC kit, it's all locked away. Maybe in FS23. Um, so that's the baling done. We got 24 bales, which is pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, yeah, so... That's been this video. Hope you enjoyed it. The commentary's been a bit fragmented. I kind of struggled my way through it. Um, so hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button. Comments, questions, suggestions below, particularly my random musings about different ways of doing things, whether it's the loan or the engine swap on this thing, because it looks really nice. Anyway, I will see you next time on Maple Farm.